Now, today we shall discuss about the natural vegetation and the wildlife. The natural vegetation and the wildlife in India comprises of a wide variety. That too, India has got a special place out of the two, sorry, out of the twelve different nations where they have the mega diversity in their lands. So, for us to understand it clearly, there are forty-seven thousands of species of the plants which are present in India are rarely found in the other parts of the world. So, it accounts for nearly tenth place in the world, while it acquires fourth place in Asia. And moving on to understand here we also have 15000 varieties of flowering plants which are accounting for 6% of the entire flowering plants present in the world at one particular place and moving on to understand about the animals we have 89000 species of animals which are present in our country and also we have a rare phenomena where we find is the natural vegetation the natural vegetation which is the vegetation of the plants cultivated by the nature and not disturbed by the humans for a very long period of time is known as virgin vegetation. We have the virgin vegetation happening here in our country and we also have a wide variety of all the plants known as flora and animals known as fauna. The flora and the fauna are in a wide variety present in our country. So, India has got among the 12 mega diversified countries, India is one among them and India has a wide variety of 47,000 spices and 10th in the places of the world biodiversity and 4th in Asia when it compares to the diversity of the continental level and there are 15,000 flowering plants which are accounting for 6% in the entire world's flowering plants and moving on to understand 89,000 species of animals are present altogether in the land of India now, and we also have a phenomenon of natural vegetation where we have huge population in India but still we have certain regions which are untouched by the humans and which are cultivated naturally by the nature. So these all are giving a special significant place to our country in the world in regards to natural vegetation. Now let us find out what is the reason or the what are the factors that are contributing to have so much of diversified plants, animals, species all together in the Indian land. So what are the factors that are contributing for having such large variety of diversity in our country? The first major factor which affects on the diversity of a particular country is the relief of that particular country. The relief of that particular country, generally we remember the word land when it comes to relief. So, basing on to understand the land, when we talk about the land, we have different land forms starting from mountains, falling to the valleys, plains, plateaus, low lying lands. All these grasslands, table lands, all these are the different types of land forms which are present in our country also. So, in our country, when we have mountains and when we have the plain lands, when we have plateau lands, when we have the grasslands, when we have the dry lands, when we have the scanty land regions where mountains, plains, plateaus are contributing for the animals to very limited extent when it compares to the dry and the grasslands where they provide a huge scope for the wild animals as well as the other insects and all to survive here. So this is also providing a chance to have so much of diversity in our country because of the various landforms which are present in our country and uh, soils the soils we have variety of soils starting from the most fertile soil to the most dry soil fertile soil alluvial soil red soil black soil cotton soil all these soils are contributing in variety for us to have good cultivation when there is no cultivation for example in the desert regions near tar desert we have dry land where there is a contribution for the different types of plants to grow there cactus and the bush trees so all these different types of soils are also contributing to have variety of plants growing on the land of india so next important factor which is contributing is the climate now we shall discuss about climate 
the climate plays a very significant role especially when we talk in the factors of the climate first let us take the temperatures in india we already discussed that we have different landforms himalayas plains plateaus himalayas they are extremely cold so at the foothills of the himalayas we have forest regions where the vegetation is different because we have the peninsular rivers which are flowing through them. sorry which are the perennial rivers which are flowing through them well moving on to the southern side we have the western ghats and the eastern ghats the western ghats are slightly 900 meters above when compared to the eastern ghats so this high nature automatically affects the temperatures the temperature here decreases when we move up naturally at 165 meters one degree temperature will fall down this is called natural lapse of temperature so because of the natural lapse of the temperature here we need to remember that as the temperature decreases the vegetation also has its impact on that when we have pleasant climatic conditions automatically the vegetation can be done when it is dry land vegetation cannot be done so these all are affected with the temperatures and when it comes to the photo period which means the sunlight the presence of the sunlight makes the trees to grow long or fast as the sunlight bees for a long time the tree grows on for a long period or very fast when compared to the other regions so here when we have daytime more the trees also will grow more when the daytime is less the temperatures will be less so the possibility of the trees growing will be less so like this it impacts the vegetation coming to the precipitation in india we have the southwest monsoons and also the retreating monsoons which bring heavy rainfalls to our country through which most of the natural vegetation is happening and because of this natural vegetation only in india we have a large cover of the fertile plains and where we have forest lands all these are contributing for the variety of the vegetation but still we need to remember that this vegetation earlier used to be the most fertile lands with the natural humus which is present in the soil but as a time passed on now because of the soil erosion and because of the human occupancy very rare places like uh, marusthali where you find in the hilly regions and the himalayan regions only where the human occupancy is very less there only you find the natural soil present there other than that you don't find any natural soil which is present in the entire indian land because of the occupancy of the humans so in this way climate also contributes through temperature through photo period and also through the precipitation the vegetation process and this is showing its impact directly on the biodiversity of our country